Just before we start this video, I've been feeling a little bit under the weather. You might be able to tell with my voice, but we've got a soldier on. We've got to try and get uh, through this season as soon as we can. Uh, and we've got a big game today against Shakhtar Donetsk. Hey everyone and welcome back to Life at Leeds with BGWFM. We're on episode 53. We've got one big game today. I know I said two last time. It's more because I'm under the weather. I actually went to bed at 9 o'clock, which is completely unheard of, last night. Uh, which leaves us with very limit, limited time to get recorded and edited ready for today's release. Uh, but today being Friday. Uh, that's the plan anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go jump straight into the results and see how we've been getting on in the build-up to today's live comp. So if you joined us last time, we had the Anderlecht double header where we won 7-0 and 4-3. 14 goals in all, hopefully very entertaining, bit one-sided, mind. But after that, we followed that up with a 5-0 home win against Liverpool, who are our nearest rivals, basically. Where we were 5th, they were 6th, or vice versa, I can't remember. But we absolutely smashed them. Uh, and yeah, we got two goals for Isaac, one for Graf, one for Eunice, and one for Jefferson Lerma. I think it was a peach, actually. I'm actually going to have a look at this goal. Yeah, so corner got whipped in. Cleared away by Hughes. Played it back in and Lerma on the volley. I know it was short range, but the first time on the volley and I thought it was a very impressive goal. But anyway, that's enough of that. After that emphatic victory over Liverpool, we then faced the other uh, the other team from Merseyside, being Everton, again at home. And goals from uh, Graf Watton and goal from Fraser Forster. Uh, they, um, it saw us with another clean sheet, basically, which was surprising because of the amount of goals we'd be conceding. Uh, the second highest last time I checked. Uh, but yeah, we've be beaten 3 0. Very comprehensive. Very happy with that. Then we faced Shakhtar in the, in the uh, first leg of the Euro Cup second round. Uh, sorry, the second knockout round. And we won 4 2. Um, it's a little bit nervy. We were winning 4 1, I believe, at one point. Yes, we were. And we look very comfortable, but there's still that danger of the away goals. And we all know what happens when the away goals are involved in anything to do with life at Leeds. So yeah, it's going to be nervy, but a hat-trick from Isaac and a goal from Graf. Um, really, we did make it look easy. It's just that they had a couple of chances, a bit like an FM moment, where they don't have many chances, but they just seem to score every time. And that's exactly what happened. However, following that, uh, John and Rose continued scoring against us, as per usual, um, as we drew 2-2 against Bournemouth in a fairly even game. I mean, Bournemouth, they were high up for most of the season when they played them. At this point, they were 10th. Um, and they played like they've been playing at the beginning of the season. We uh, we did miss a penalty as well, thanks to Zach Clough. He got a goal and missed. I think his misses are three now. And I need to ensure that I take up penalty duties because I think this uh, Graf is like the best penalty taker and he's not even selected to do so. So looking at today's opponents, and we didn't look at them last time because we're going to do it today. And their manager is Dimitro Kriginski. Honestly, that's a decent pronunciation. This is actually his first job uh, in management, basically. Um, not bad in the key areas, tactical knowledge. Man management could be better, and everything else could be, but tactical knowledge in particular is what stands out. Um, and yeah, he, it's his first appointment, so I wasn't expecting much of a challenge, but yet yeah, they scored two goals past us, so what do I know? The captain is Andrea, uh, Andrei Piatov. I have actually signed this guy in the past, in past FMs. Uh, decent goalkeeper, but he's not actually uh, as good now as what he probably once was a couple of years ago. Um, I don't know if that's a case of because of his age or he's just been downgraded over FMs. And the vice captain and key player is Taras Stepanenko, um, 31 year old Ukrainian. And you know what? He doesn't look bad. Defensive midfielder, uh, he'd get in my team definitely. So yeah, he's one to look out for. Today's game is brought to you live from the Donbass Arena. It's Shakhtar Donetsk versus Leeds United FC. So I think the obvious option is uh, complacency. I've already done it by accident, but uh, yeah, basically keep focus. Don't think the job is done. All they have to do is win two 0 and they're through. Like I said before, we know how it turns out. We away goals. Right. So he looks like he's got shorts on from what I'm looking at. I know he probably hasn't. He's probably just got orange trousers on. But it looks like he had like proper short spandex shorts or something. But never mind. So the team's lined up. It's a big game. You know, it's one of our routes into the Champions League. Obviously, we're still vying for that 
that play, uh, fourth place at least in the in the Premier League. Right, so there's a corner and Bernard is over it. Whips it in towards the back post and Gwenny heads away. And what can he launch a counter attack? It's coming forward on down the left hand side. Comes in field. Does it for to Father Gabriel? Chips it forward towards Isaac. Lunges in. Ordets is there. He's actually a good defender at that Ordets. That was a compass. He was also a very good player. But Watt's got it again on the left hand side. Ball somehow travels behind him. Physics and all that lot, but never mind. And now it's our debts once again. Plays it forward to Malishev. Now it's Driussi, I want to say that. So it is, and Grassi went over with a keeper. Should score, oh, what a save. Isaac's there, he's got it in. Come on, that's one of the away goals. Chalked off. Come on, boys, we can do this. You know, Shakhtar Donetsk, they're a decent side. They've been in and around the Champions League for numerous years, never really done much more than the group stage, I think they've got to the knockout round stages a couple of times, maybe even the quarterfinals, but I don't think they've got any further than that, so they are going to be a tough ask today, Kodjukaru in goal, glad I'm not managing in Russia because I'd really struggle with the names, Graf's got it though, Running wide left towards the edge of the penalty area, crosses in and Lerm is there, I want to call him Baz Lerma, I don't know why, but Jefferson Lerma, Scores, tapping, low cross. Yeah, they're kind of popular out there, this uh, FM. But that's that's the two away goals chopped off, so we definitely, if it's 2 0, well, it's not going to be 2 0, it's 2 0 to us. If it's 4 2, then it's going to be penalties, but realistically, they're going to be wanting more than that, aren't they? So, what a half that is. And I'm just going to tell them I'm very pleased with the performance. Looking extremely delighted. A couple of uh, complacent looking players. I'm going to tell them that I'm. Uh, I'm not happy with them because uh, I want them to up the game somewhat. If they're looking complacent, I mean, that's just a lot of dog shit, isn't it, really? You don't want that. So, hopefully, it's not going to affect us too much. And, uh, yeah, two goals to the good in this particular game. Four goals up. Should be job done. Should be. Key word. But you never know in football. Anything could happen as Lemmer strikes it into the net. There you go. Now they need six goals. They need to win 6-3. So it's pretty much a foregone conclusion, isn't it, really? You know, they've not really been in this game. We've not, not really, you know, they've had three highlights. So we're FN, FMing them at the minute in terms of the amount of highlights happening and the amount of goals resulting in them. But I don't care. I'm going through to the quarters, I want to say, is after this. So with the game pretty much done, uh, I'm bringing on Shrogren for uh, Isaac. Just to give him a bit of game time. Uh, Lewis could come for uh, Father Gabriel. And uh, Christian Eriksson on for Carl Watt. Give the... The players, a bit of a rest, really. Right, we've got a highlight with about 22 minutes to go. Uh, Karaveyev, Karaveyev, yeah, let's go with that. Uh, finds Bernard, that's Stepanenko, once again. Finds a campus out wide left. In a crossing position, crosses in, Bernard is there. Rykovic with an emphatic save. I don't know why I said emphatic, but it, it'll do for now. I wasn't expecting that, as uh, to quote Jamie Lawson. How was not expecting that? My voice is really bad, can you tell? Right, so there's two minutes of injury time, which means it could be a highlight here, as Ericsson heads it into Kajukaru's hands. Um, yeah, no, maybe that, that was a highlight, okay. But it's looking like a pretty straightforward win, 3-0 win away from home. This is going to be a late consolation here. Bernard runs into penalty area. Rakovic with another clean sheet, what's going on? But yeah, um, very pleased with this outcome. Let's see who we get in the next draw. We will be staying for the next uh, next round draw. Uh, find out who we get. But yeah, Buda Fem played against him recently. Um, I'll be honest with you, he was in his last video. At this point, I am about to watch his video afterwards, but I just know he's got Spat at Moscow. Spat at Moscow? Shakhtar Donetsk in, the next, uh, in uh, his latest video. Um, but yeah, just with a mixture of me being unwell and needing to get this recorded and having visitors and what have you, I just haven't got around to, to uh, view my old mate's uh, video. But uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll, you'll, uh, I'm sure you'll forgive me for it. But anyway, massive win, three 0 win. Uh, see who we get in the next round. Let's just passionately tell them that I'm very pleased with the performance because it was delightful. Let's be honest. And uh, yeah, let's see who we get in the next round. Right, so it is a quarter-final, and there are nine teams left to draw. There's one game left to happen, looking at this. AC Milan or Liverpool. There's Chelsea. There's us. There's Man City. Bloody hell, there's a lot of English sides. Uh, we've got Roma, Sevilla, Sporting, and Tottenham. Now, ideally, I don't want an English side. 
but the uh, chances of getting one are very, very high. So let's do the automatic draw, let's see what's going to happen, and let's hope we can get uh, another European tie. So first up is... Sporting Lisbon. It's Roma, that's two of the European sides gone already. Chelsea, I've got Man City, that'll be a good tie. AC Milan or Liverpool versus us. That's a bit of a shame, Tottenham have got uh, Sevilla. But, you know, I prefer AC Milan. Obviously, we beat Liverpool 5 0 earlier on in the season, but I'm pretty sure they beat us at their gaff 2 1, if I remember rightly. So, it's going to be an interesting one, but let's see who we end up with. Uh, I'm going to guess it's going to be a. Uh, there's going to be a reason for it. Why? Back here for some reason. It's in five days' time. Right, so I've had a look, and basically, I've seen that I've got a game in between. I, I just can't, I can't do the game. I, I physically don't have time. Um, I've got to get this edited as well, you see. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come back for the second leg of AC Milan or Liverpool in the Europa League. And as long as I'm not feeling like this still, which hopefully you'll forgive me for this, this particular one. I was going to do a West Ham game, but sadly, just not feeling. I, I am actually feeling like crap. I'm going to do the Blackburn game. They are in the Premier League, of course, not in the, the Championship. As, like, or the or League One, as it is in real life. But there's a short gap between the last game, uh, between the first game of the uh, Europa League, second leg, and Blackburn. There's only two days, so it's going to be a quick transition, which I think is a power dog shit, if I'm honest with you. Two day gap. What's that all about? Talk about putting us at a disadvantage against Bottom at League. But anyway. Um, yeah, so that's, who, that's what we're going to be doing. So that is it for today's video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it, and if you have, why not go ahead and press that like button. If you'd like to see more, feel free to subscribe. Greatly appreciated as always. And hopefully you'll join us, like I said, for the second leg of the quarter-final of the Europa League against AC Milan or Liverpool and the Blackburn game. And then, obviously, illness permitted. Um, and yeah, hopefully you can join us for that. And until then, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.